Hello guys, welcome to a tutorial on Rain Meter's honeycomb icons. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to make your own skins for these and also just make your own icons in general. So as you can see in my top left here, I have quite a few. Uh, a few of them are custom made. This Task Manager one, Lacrita, Sony Vegas, World of Tanks, Discord, all of those are custom made. but the program itself comes with a lot of ones that you probably will want so sometimes it can actually be hard to find one to do uh, that's not already in the program but you most likely will run into one I thought the weirdest one that they didn't have was discord discords were very popular I thought they'd have it but they didn't so I went ahead and made my own now for today I'll be running you through the whole process of the entire thing of making your own icon and setting it up so it actually works. Alright, so the first thing you obviously want is Rain Meter, and if you don't have that installed, I'll try and leave a link down below for that. Now, once you open up Rain Meter, you will probably have none of these. You'll just have one. If you've installed Honeycomb, you'll just have a Honeycomb. So, to make your own, obviously you go through here, make sure it doesn't have it already. You just right click one of these, any one, hit open folder. And that should bring up this window. You can go back one to honeycomb. And here is the file for all of your honeycomb apps. So what I like to do, you can just go ahead. Uh, I generally use Chrome. It's just easier for me to remember, but it doesn't matter in the slightest. Just go ahead and copy one of these folders. I went ahead and copied Chrome. And then just click on the right side here, hit paste, and then I have a Chrome dash copy. So I can go ahead and rename that to Epic Games Store. There it is right here. This, you don't have to rename this, but I like to do it just for organization. Epic Games Store. So you can go ahead, open this. It'll open up in a notepad document. If it does not open up in a notepad document, it'll open up with uh, this thing right here. Just go ahead and click notepad and hit OK. So at the top here, you can change this if you want. I do just for organization, Epic Game, Epic Games Store. All right. So. The only two things you need to worry about here are the left mouse up action. And if you want to change the picture, then you want to worry about the image, name, and then yada yada, all this right here. Those are the two things we need to worry about. Everything else, completely irrelevant. So, what you want to do, let's work on making an image for it first. So, right now, if I go here, refresh this so it will load that new file and if I scroll down to Epic Game Store and I hit load it'll bring up Chrome and if I click that Chrome will open up I don't want that obviously so what do you want to go open up your web browser go to Google just type in whatever you're making so for instance here I just typed in Epic Games logo now I can go to images just look around, see one that I like. So, hmm, a lot of these are pretty good. I'll probably go for, actually, it helps sometimes if you make sure it's a PNG file. I'm going to go for this one right here. So I want to go here, save image as, and just throw it into your downloads folder. That generally helps. Then you can go ahead and close out of that. You don't need that anymore. So what next? You want to go ahead and open up a photo editing software. You can use either Photoshop, Krita, um, MS Paint. It doesn't really matter. This is not high level photo editing. You can pretty much use whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and use Krita, which is a Photoshop free alternative. I'll go ahead and link it down below in case you guys want to use it. Uh, it's very handy. I would recommend it. So once you have your photo editing software open, you want to go ahead and go 
Open up your documents folder. This will most likely be where it installed it, but if not, I will show you another way to get here. So open up your documents folder, go to skins or documents, rain meter, skins, honeycomb, at resources, and then images. Now this is a file with tons of images on it. This is the icons to every single uh, button or honeycomb button that we put on our desktop. So another way to get to this real easy, if it's not in your desktop or in your documents folder, you can go ahead and click on one of these, hit open folder, and this will bring you to just a random, uh, this specific, so I clicked on Chrome, so it specifically took me to Chrome. You can go ahead and click up here, click honeycomb, and it'll bring you to at resources, images, and then here you are. Now, once you're here, you want to pick a background for the icon that you're making. Now, I know all of these have something on it, like this RoboCraft has this R on it. You can get rid of that pretty easily. So, I'm going to go ahead and all we're looking at is the background colors. So, I chose the Epic Game Store, which is black. I think it'll look good against white. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this one. I can go ahead and copy it and then paste it down here at the bottom. Now I have a Krita-copy. I want to go ahead and rename that to Epic Games Store. And somehow, there we go, Epic Games Store. So here it is right here. I can go ahead and take this image open up my photo editing software and then I can take this drag it right in there and boom I have this image right here now what you want to do you can take a color selector of any sorts just pick the outside color here not the inside just take a brush and just paint it away just like this All right, and so I'm refilming this part of the tutorial because I did a crap job explaining it, and while I was editing, I realized that I did a terrible job explaining it. So I'm going to be explaining it for the Krita, and this will probably work on Photoshop as well because Krita and Photoshop are almost identical. But other than that, even if you're using like Paint.net or MS Paint or whatever, it still will be similar, just maybe not exact. I do recommend you go download Krita for this if you do not have any experience with any photo editing softwares. Or you can use another tutorial on YouTube or wherever on the internet to figure out your specific editing software. So, what you want to do, you want to go ahead to your downloads folder. Here's mine right here. Here's the Epic Games icon that I got. You want to drag it in and hit insert as new layer so I do that and now you'll see over on the right side for Krita and Photoshop mainly I don't know if anything else will be doing this you'll have a layers over here now if you have any experience with photo editing softwares you probably won't even need this tutorial but you want to go ahead and use the transformer layer or selection tool so from this point I can shrink it and warp it pretty much as much as I want so I want to do that and then I want to move it to the middle. Now once you got it centered you want to go ahead and click a selection tool. You can choose whatever one you want. I'm going to be using the specific line one. So I'm going to head and make a line right here. There we go. So now I can go to this side. Boom. 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 Go all the way down. Now this lines do not have to be perfect because this is going to be a small icon on your desktop. So if it's a little off, you will never notice. Then you want to just connect that line. So then you have this area selected. So at this point, I like to go hit Control, Shift, and I. 
selects and that will invert the selection and then you should just be able to hit delete and then it removes the outside of that it still left the other layer because that's on a whole different layer you can go ahead up to select in the top this is for Krita and Photoshop just hit deselect and then to save a file you have to have it only as one layer so I'm gonna go ahead click on the top layer and then hit merge with layer below now it's all one layer and I can go ahead and save as save it right into my at resources folder for honeycomb so i already got the name right there we should be to the point where we have our icon picture if we go to the at resources again and here it is right here here it is right here so now you can go ahead click this hit manage skin and you can go to your Epic Games Store. You might not have this right here. Epic Games Store or whatever file that you're making or whatever icon that you're making. Click on the Epic Games Store. Right click, edit. And then you want to change this, the Chrome, because that's what I used. You want to go to your images. You can right click this, hit details. And look at the file name, epic space games space store dot png. Epic games store. Now, if we hit save, and there we go. So, as you can see, it now has the epic logo on it so now but when we click it it still opens up chrome because it is chrome's uh, icon at the end of the day so you want to right click it hit edit and here's where we mess with the left mouse up action so right now it sets chrome.exe we want to change that to the file path of the application that we're making epic game stores is obviously mine so with a few, if you have one storage device, this might possibly work. You might be able to do just Epic Games, and then it's going to be Launcher. Now, I have more than one storage device, so if I go ahead and refresh the skin, that does not work. It does not open up anything, but I have more than one storage device. If you only have one storage device on your computer, it probably will work, but maybe not. So this won't work for me, and it probably won't work for most people. So at this point, you want to go down to your search bar, look for the thing that you're looking for, look for the Epic Games Launcher. Here it is. Right-click it, hit Open File Location. All right. So here, this opened up as a shortcut, so that's not what I want. I want to right-click that and hit Open File Location. Here's the actual thing that I want right here. So I want to right-click this. Go to properties. Here's the location of this file right here. So you want to just highlight that and then hit control C to copy it. And now you can go back here and copy and paste that. And then after this, you want to just add the file name of the thing itself. So right here, it's Epic Games Launcher, no space, but E, G, and L is all cap. So I want to make sure I do do that. So yours will be like that. And then hit a backslash, then Epic Games Launcher. So then .exe, you got to have the .exe there. Make sure at the end you have the quotation marks and then the bracket. So you can go ahead and file, save. Then you want to right click your little skin over here, hit refresh skin, and when I click it, bada bing, bada boom, it works. Alright, that's the end of this video. I hope it really helped you guys out. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like. And if it helped you out, please consider subscribing. I do tutorials, I just do games with friends. It'd mean a lot to me. If you have any questions at all, make sure to leave them down in the comments. I will answer all of them. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Peace.